You either believe in God or you don't. What does that mean? What does it mean to believe in something? Um, what does it mean to accept the existence of something? Um, in particular, let's say that we're talking about God here. What does it mean to believe in God? <clears throat> yeah, my wife, as I'm fond of mentioning, is a practicing Christian. If I were to confront her with that question, um, what does it mean for you to believe in God? She would just say, oh, well, I believe in God, end of story. And then I would probe her on these things, and she would just sort of, what is all this mumbo-jumbo? You're asking me to define all of this stuff, and I'm not interested in that in the least. Uh, there's something called God that I have found, and um, that's the that's the epitome of the knowledge that I require of God. Is that I have found God, I have experienced God, ergo God exists in a way that is sufficient to my needs or my definition of existence. I'm sorry, but it's uh, winter here, and the next door neighbor is blasting his chainsaw away, chopping up a tree, I guess, that he's dragged in from the countryside. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, we have to heat our houses here. It gets cold. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, we could conclude from that that, okay, this person hasn't really worked out what it means for something, for, for you to believe in something. Therefore, their, their view of what belief is is incomplete and sort of just like the euthyph euthyphro thingy, um, uh, dilemma, you, you know, you haven't really thought it through. You haven't thought it through what makes something um, believable and what doesn't make it believable, or what makes something true, or what doesn't make it true, or what makes something moral or uh, believable, or whatever. I would say maybe you haven't worked it through grammatically, or intellectually, or logically. That doesn't mean that you haven't worked it out in your head. It doesn't mean that you don't, that you only think that you believe in something. Um, I'm fond of pointing out to people that they may just think that they believe in something, whereas actually they don't. And the corollary to that is, um, you might think that someone has an insufficiently exhaustive idea of belief, um, but you may just think that. <laughs> How can we decide whether or not someone's done their homework before they believe something. Who decides? 